Hey everyone, it's Voss. I'm here with Tails. You're watching the Voss on YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Ethereum ASIC miner. Is it the GPU mining killer? As well as GPU prices are finally returning to normal. If you've been following the Voscoin channel for a while and use our search bar and hope you subscribe, then you'll know that we talked about Ethereum ASICs over a month ago. All right, so we talked about them then, and people didn't lose their minds, and I kind of covered the basics, but everyone is losing their mind about these ASICs yet again, so let's talk about them. So here's a good article. Someone posted this on uh, the uh, Ethereum Stack Exchange, and you can see, you know, they basically run through the basics of it that this is not going to be much more viable than a GPU mining rig if it's, you know, accurate according to the release specs of this Bitmain Antminer F3. And I'm not saying that there's not an ASIC out there. There have been some ASICs that have been out there and reviewed. Um, but the, the ASICs that have been seen for Equihash in Ethereum are basically low performing and a GPU rig at normal prices is still a better deal. I have links to everything that I cover in this video in the description, but more importantly, here's Vitalik, okay, the main guy at Ethereum, his coin, and let's see what he says about this. This was a month ago, and why would his sentiment change in that brief month when this is the same article that was posted on some random Chinese site that has just been recycled and hyped up ever since. So if we examine what he said, you know, he takes this miner that you can get off this European site for 4,500 bucks, 220 mega hash, and for record, that's really not the best deal for that uh, amount of mega hash. But, you know, there's plenty of cards offering 30 mega hash a second, right? So, and like you said, it's a 2x improvement. One thing that's a little alarming is he's not like, oh, don't worry, I'll take care of this. You know, I said this this algorithm was ASIC resistant, so I'll fork it off. That's, you know, alarming. I will say that, absolutely. But overall, he makes a good point, which is what I'm trying to make here today, is quarter two to three. So, the middle to end of this year, we may or may not see these F3 miners. We go over here to Bitmain. And you'll see, if you've been following the channel, you know that they have uh, released, I uh, oh, look, they stopped selling all their miners. That's interesting. But anyway, they've had all their miners in stock a lot recently. They've been moving a lot of stock. So if anything, I would be much more concerned about a better Bitcoin miner. I would be much more concerned about a Bitcoin miner that is using those 12 NM chips, you know, or perhaps they have a competitor like Samsung who's, you know, getting closer and closer. As far as ASIC miners right on the horizon, obviously this is going to be a decred ASIC miner that we're going to see very, very soon from Bitmain, I think, because uh, how long has already released theirs? One article that really kicked this buzz off was this post wall street analyst lowers price targets of amd nvidia shares in reaction to bitmain competition look at this he basically says on the cnbc report that he's lowering these price targets due to the ethereum asics okay but how cool does this make i mean let's just be devil's advocate here let's, let's do a scenario how you know informed does this make him sound to these people that don't do not know anything and he's he's blaming that this downtrend is going to be on these asics when crypto is in this correct Correction, right so it's in the correction and he comes out I mean obviously these prices are gonna go down and I think that these numbers are really undervalued I think that miners make up much more than 20 and 10 percent of these graphics card sales and if it wasn't the case there would be so many more available and all the gamers wouldn't hate the miners he's dropping these prices because if crypto goes down AMD and Nvidia are so tied to cryptocurrency through GPU mining that they will inevitably decrease in price in my opinion here and you know, this isn't financial advice and all that kind of stuff so and there was also the article which is referenced here again where Bitmain basically made more than Nvidia last year because they are playing full steam ahead in the cryptocurrency market and they don't play by any rules and a lot of people have been burned by them and others will learn in the future that Bitmain is notoriously evil for a reason. And finally, with all of this news, we can see GPU prices returning to normal. When was the last time you could go on eBay, put a 1080 Ti in, and get listings for $800 with free shipping? Okay, that's, I mean, 800 bucks for this card, that's a good deal. Question is, you know, how much did this guy mine with it? Because let's be honest, every card that you're going to see pop up here is going to be a mining card. But is it okay? to game with a card that was used for mining. There's a very mixed opinion there. And honestly, the verdict isn't really out yet. Personally, I'm a gamer and a cryptocurrency miner, and I game on the same card that I mine with, and my card performs fine. But I run my cards 
you know, safely and effectively, I don't jack up the power to it and leave it in a really hot closed box and, you know, like, oh, well, you know, I got a warranty, right, man? So anyway, guys, that's my take on it. Just everyone take a deep breath. What we're doing is we're driving the cryptocurrency market down further. Um, we are, you know, providing relief to these GPU prices, which, you know, that's nice. Nice to see GPU prices come down. And, uh, you know, if we don't want ASICs on our coins, we need to be vocal about it. If you don't want an ASIC miner to come out for the coin that you mine or that you, you like, you need to be vocal about it. Because otherwise, ASICs are going to walk in here and they're going to take over every single coin. And it's not the ASIC miner and this ASIC premise that is so bad. And people think that ASICs are more green. <laughs> Why is Bitcoin mining the largest energy consumer in the entire world? It's an ASIC. It was supposed to be green. ASICs just mean more ASICs. So there's not really a more green factor. Yeah, it's more efficient than you know what we're currently at for, say, a GPU-based algorithm. But in the future, it's going to just become that many ASICs. And the power players, which is really just Bitmain, will be the company providing those. And... You know, we see how well that goes. So with that said, thanks everyone for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the Boscoin YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time.